Hello all, welcome back to Editorial Analysis and Answer Writing Practice at 9 pm. Friends, if you are watching this video series for the first time, then please watch my first video. That is the introductory video, which is available in the playlist to know how to participate in this program. It is open to all. So in the yesterday's video, I was giving you the feedback session for the questions given during day two and day three. And today's video, I will give the discussion feedback for the day four and day five questions. So day four question, to realize the vision of the Vixit Bharat, by 2047, harnessing the full potential of the MSME sector is crucial. Discuss. So this question, so you can start your intro uh, by explaining about this Vixit Bharat government's ambition by 2047. We you know that everything you can mention. So from there, to achieve this Vixit Bharat, we have to improve the country's GDP. So basically the national economy income has to be improved. So for which... If you see the agriculture sector as well as the service sector is almost uh, getting plateaued, it is reaching its saturation. So we have a huge scope in uh, developing the manufacturing sector. In the manufacturing sector, the key driver is MSME. Okay, so this is one way I am taking a link from Vikshit Bharat to MSME. So this is one way of introducing. So from here, you can explain about the MSME's uh, a potential significance you can highlight right then after mentioning potential briefly you can mention the to realize this potential government has come up with various schemes that schemes you can lightly mention I, and i was noticing that many students they are writing in excess about government schemes not required for this question so from vixit bharat i am taking a line to msme from msme i am explaining the potential to realize the potential you mention few schemes Right, despite of this potential and government initiatives, there are lot of challenges. Highlight those challenges and from there you can give some suggestions, then you can conclude. Right, so by implementing these suggestions or whatever conclusion you want to give, you can conclude and conclude and say that MSME is very, very crucial for achieving the developed nation status. Okay, so I have given you a flow on how to write this answer. So let's have a look at... Uh, the best answers given by the students right so students when you submit the paper please mention your name only then i can identify you and i rem can remember you how you are performing well all right so here you have started with the msme sectors they have a tremendous potential etc so it is very important to fulfill our vixit uh, bharat dream great this is also one way of introducing or you can also consider my way of introduction also you have mentioned the potential the problem with your potential points is uh, you have given a lot of potential see you have highlighted seven points tax base expansion decentralized economic activities post sharing entrepreneurship, inclusive development, women empowerment, cultural uh, uh, preservation. All right. I am able to understand you are substantiating every point, but you can trim every point. Uh, I feel that you are exceeding the word limit. And you have highlighted the challenges, challenges faced by the MSME sectors. That is also fine, neat. Then you have explained the suggestions, how we can overcome the challenges. You have given suggestions. This is also fine. Your answer is neat. Definitely need your answer is good. You could have mentioned about some government initiatives uh, in between, though you have mentioned here, said B Mudra, CGT, MSC. All right, separately, if you could have given during the potential area, if you would have mentioned, it would have been great. Your conclusion is simple, but still not bad. Neat answer. The next student. Priyanka Choudhury, your handwriting is neat, but you have seriously exceeded the word limit. Don't try to dump everything which I am explaining in the editorial. Whatever notes I give, don't try to dump all those points. You have to reduce the point, but your flow is fine. See, here there is some India's journey towards developed nation 2047. MSMEs are evolving at the backbone. I am not able to see any link between the first two lines. Maybe I think you should have added the word in. In India's journey towards developed nation, MSMEs are evolving as the backbone. Since you have left one word in, I was struggling to understand what you are trying to convey in this introduction part. 
right about msme sector is fine so despite being uh, uh, a faster growth this way being uh, what is this faster or faster i am not able to understand that there are some bottlenecks in the sector so what are the bottlenecks you have highlighted that is also fine good right to harness the full potential of msme through various initiatives and other measures see this much you need not spend this is not the question this is not the question asked you could have mentioned about these government initiatives somewhere in the above part of your answer okay don't spend this much amount of space because this is not the demand of the question okay then you have given about uh, other measures that is suggestions you have given fine and yes you have also given a uh, conclusion which is very brief that is fine so what is the problem in your answer points are great question is simple points are great introduction because of the grammatical uh, issue is not able to understand conclusion is simple fine loaded with more number of points you have to trim it and government initiatives part you could have avoided here and there you could have mentioned one one initiative rest is fine but definitely you are exceeding the word limit okay so keep this in mind and uh, plan your answer accordingly so the next question is the recent reports indicate that the female labor force participation rate in india has been increasing however it remains comparatively low on a global scale discuss the reason behind so here you start with what is female labor force participation rate see many students have written about periodic labor survey for survey in the introduction why i have not asked about plfs mention about female labor force participation right mention about female labor force participation and you say and the recent report and then you link it with the uh, periodic labor force survey that is the recent report what it was saying that you mentioned the trend which you can mention you can even put some graph about the increasing trend however when it compares to the global scale so you can mention another graph you can say india right say 37 percent global average it is 50 percent you want to highlight some countries yes you can mention 80 percent you can give and you can give some uh, graphical representation so explain about flfp from where you go to this periodic labor force survey from there you can mention the trend from there you can say india is much behind the global scale and from there you can go for the reasons so reasons you could have listed and finally suggest the measures what we have to do even here uh, government schemes don't try to spend more somewhere in the measures you can also integrate the government schemes and finally give a conclusion okay so let's see how you have written so gayatri okay you have started with the plfs data that is fine explaining what is plfs is the problem starting with plfs data is fine so you have mentioned the reasons for low fl fp yes good then you have highlighted the measures to improve the fl fp that is also fine good your handwriting is really good i hope you are able to finish write the answer within the specific time then government schemes for women why are you mentioning this much why are you eating this much space for government schemes for women don't do that that is the problem through proper implementation of these schemes, FLFP of women can be increased. Do you think that these schemes are not effectively implemented? These schemes are implemented effectively. We need something more also. Along with this, we need more proactive measures. Okay, don't say this has to be effectively implemented. It has to be implemented effectively, but your point is through proper implementation. If you could have said through effective implementation, through efficient implementation, that is better. Okay. So apart from that, uh, your answer is good. Then Suraj, see here, you see, PLFS conducted by NSL, NSO, quarterly. Why, why this point is not required? The report says, yes, this is fine. This point is fine. The first point is not required. Second point is fine. So, You have mentioned about the global average, reasons for the FLFP, 
uh, less FS, FLFP you have mentioned that is also fine. The good point of your answer is the global view. This is something which I would like to appreciate global view you have mentioned about Iceland. So you have taken some effort to uh, gather some extra point right. So about Sikkim, about Kerala you have mentioned about it good. Then government of India initiatives yes briefly you have mentioned not bad then potential measures you have uh, highlighted you have given examples also good that is good so economics amartya sen point missing women addressing lack of women participation globally so all these are fine your answer is definitely good right so leaving the first line your introduction part where you have mentioned about the plfs who is releasing it on a quarterly basis that point can be avoided apart from that your answer is neat so your name is if I am not Suraj, yes Suraj, good, you have done a good job. The even other participants also they have attended well. So I appreciate your effort, a sincere effort in doing it every single day. So make it as a habit every day 9 pm, I will spend some time on answer writing weekends. I will spend some time to know what are the mistakes. Now after knowing the mistakes, I would request you to rewrite the answer. Now, based on the structure which I have given, you rewrite, you rewrite the end. Rewriting is very, very important. If you have maintained the same structure, great. If you have not maintained, if you are deviating from the demand of the question, if your word limit is exceeding uh, beyond the demand of the question, then please rewrite. That practice is going to be very, very helpful. Right? So, I have uh, attached the answers for the second day, third day question in the last video, fourth and fifth day question in the current video only, you can download and you can go through it. So I hope the initiative is adding real value and gives you motivation with respect to writing answers. So I will see you next week, that is tomorrow with a set of new editorial topics. Till then, bye, take care.